So as you know, our virtual machines that are really going to be our virtual desktops, aka session hosts, they have to run on a virtual network. And before you begin, you must have a virtual network for them to live on. Now, I tend to work with the South Central US. That's my region of choice. That's where I'm located. And it makes a lot of sense, especially when I start thinking about connectivity over things like site-to-site -site VPN tunnels, something we're not there yet, but it's something I'm planning for in advance. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a virtual network in the South Central US. So here we go. I've got my subscription selected. I'll choose my AZ140 demo resource group that I'm gonna put this in. And this is gonna be the resource group that I'm gonna be working with moving forward. Now, because I chose this resource group and it was already attached to South Central US, that's gonna default my region selected here down below. So what am I gonna give this a name? Well, I do like descriptive names that kind of tell me, you know, if I were looking at this on an Excel sheet where I could tell what's going on. So I might call this VDI hyphen South Central US, maybe 01. That way I know this will be my virtual desktop infrastructure in the South Central US and my first virtual network that I've created in that region. Now I could accept the defaults, but that would become a problem for me later down the road when I start to explore things like site-to-site -site VPNs and I have overlapping IP address ranges. Again, we're not there yet, but I'm just planning for it in advance. Now in the security section, I'm gonna leave these alone. Yes, we can absolutely use things like Azure Firewall in conjunction with our virtual desktop infrastructure, but I'm not bothered with that just yet. I'm just gonna leave things on the default to keep my examples simple. Now, in this case, when I wanna choose my block, I'm gonna choose a block that I know I don't have anywhere else in my environments. So I'm gonna say 10.55.0.0 slash 16 as my overall block, but now I get the red X next to my default subnet because this configuration doesn't match the block that I have above. So I'm gonna edit this subnet real quick to be 10.55.0.0 slash 24. I can leave this as you know the default name or I can even change this to be something like VDI, VDI hosts. So that way my session hosts, I know exactly which uh, subnet they're gonna belong to when I need to pick it out from a list. So this is all I need to specify right now to bring this virtual network to life. I'll go ahead and I'll create this. It'll take 30 seconds or so to deploy and we'll come back to it once it's done. Okay, there we go. It actually didn't take 30 seconds. It took more like four seconds. So with that being said, I can go to the resource and now I have a virtual network scaffolded that's great for a basic VDI demonstration. So I'm gonna end this video here and in the next video, we'll start talking about host pools. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.